It's quite a strange feeling being a student at Cass Business School and sitting in this lecture theatre just looking around at these chairs and thinking who's been here in years gone by. Former students who've gone off and done it for real, gone and started businesses which are now household names in all corners of the world. Of course, if you read the newspapers, the headlines that blare out these days are not positive ones. They would suggest that now isn't the time to be starting a business with their talk of austerity measures and financial downturns. But at the Cass alumni event, the panel that was convened on entrepreneurship was far from pessimistic. In fact, quite the reverse. The panel was introduced by Sir Malcolm Williamson. I asked him why there was so much optimism. Well, I, do, I think there are some things, there's a commonality of view and some things there isn't, and I found Peter's more controversial remarks quite a, interesting at times. I think what, what we learnt in terms of what is common is the fact that if people want to become entrepreneurs, they need to be able to have some structured ideas, and they need to test those on other people, and not set off on a route that's almost like suicide, where they think they've got a good idea, but there's no counselling, and no mentorship behind it, no reality check. So most successful entrepreneurs I think do start off with a very clear business plan and ability to flex it if things don't go right and they know how they're going to cope with the funding of that plan. So I think things like that are quite common. I think the views of the panel were also common when it came to where governments sit in this where governments can help create an environment that is business friendly, get rid of red tape, get the taxation right. But government itself can't stimulate entrepreneurship or job creation beyond that. All it can do is set the climate. I think the things where people varied a bit were on some of these topics like social entrepreneurship, uh, you know, is, is doing business ethically and well uh, the thing to do? or is it just about making profit? Uh, I happen to come from a camp that believes that you have to do it in a responsible way and you do need good ethics in business and you need to give something back to society to sustain your business model. Uh, otherwise, if it's just about profit, you might as well say that a drug dealer is okay because he makes a profit. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> Not for me. So I think um, it's interesting to look at the differences amongst the panel and also the things that they could agree on. You mentioned the role of government. Of course, this, this is, many people said, the country as at a turning point. And the panel, all of them entrepreneurs, seemed very much to feel that big government was not the way forward. Was that the impression no, you I, got? Well, I, I also agree with that. I think that big government's a disaster. Uh, there's no track record that suggests that big government has ever run a business that it's owned properly, let alone can tell anybody else how to run a business. So I think it's all about setting the environment and, and getting the hell out of it and trying to reduce bureaucracy. The, um, well, it's interesting, I went to see a small business yesterday that's been in existence about five years, so it's been running through a pretty horrible economic period for most of that time. That business employs 40 people in Covent Garden. It's a business to do with branding and PR. They actually get their clients overseas, so they have sales offices in places like Dubai and uh, in Bombay, but the actual work is done in London by very talented artists and people like that. Uh, that business is going gangbusters, you know, so it's employing 40 people in the UK who weren't employed six years, five or six years ago, and it's still growing and taking more people on. So it's not to say you can't do it, but again, you, this guy's done a very clever thing in terms of trying to find the business model that's going to work in spite of the economic times. Last question. Uh, a lot of people would think that now is exactly the wrong time to start a business given the economic climate, but again, that didn't seem to be the message that was coming no, from No, I don't think it is. I, I think if people have a good idea, it probably is sustainable through difficult economic times, actually. Um, you know, I work in the city and I've worked in the city most of my life. But if you look at a chap like Clive Cowdery, who has built uh, a successful business in insurance, which he sold and is now building a second business in insurance, he's doing that in the teeth of an economic storm. But, you know, he, again, he's picked a business model that's right for the times, and that's why people will back him and help him sustain it. So, Malcolm Williamson, thank, thank you very much. much.